and a, a, a graduate assistant job there in Lexington and yeah. started my ultimate career a little earlier. Well, in 1998, Scott and I were talking today, um, you know, he was playing, I was the head coach of Montana, and we played in the nc 2 tournament in the first round in Salt Lake on their way to the championship his freshman year. Sanford again with the steal, Boy. and cashes it in. Brandon Heyman makes it a five-point lead. I have to say I'm impressed with Sanford and their pressing ability because La Tech has experience. They have handlers. And they practice against this every day. Kaiser not able to flush that alley-oop. But he is fouled. You know, they really haven't given up a lot in transition other than something they can't really stop, and that's throwing that's throwing the ball up to 10, you know, 11 feet in the air. So as they cover back, they're, they're covering the ball there. They're coming behind on a back slap with the steal of the play in the, in the past. So now they, they get it there. But when they've come down, you see Kaiser get the foul here. They've been able to throw the ball up to the rubber the side of the rim, and that's about the only thing they've had open, and Kaiser is, is, is the one thing that's kind of been working for them. Stapleton back in. Kaiser averaging about 8.6 rebounds. That leads the team as well as almost two and a half blocks per game. And he gets one out of two. I think Mike White is a little frustrated. Thought they were going to be able to get at, get at these guys early. And they've been... Well, they handled the pressure. Got a good shot. Brandon Roberts follows his own miss. But a baseline whistle. Had an over, uh, overzealous block off there. Somebody got pushed out of bounds. Whistle blew. Foul on Samford. Brandon Heyman, good with his second. Cunningham takes a seat. Two games ago, Samford had a really good performance against uh, UMKC. Re really played well. Their last game, they didn't shoot the ball real well. And, uh, you know, so they were really at Kennesaw State. They were really disappointed with how things turned out. And you're seeing them in an early rhythm that if they can sustain this, it's going to be one interesting game. This will put Louisiana Tech into the bonus. See, that's where Appleby shows his experience. You get a guy chasing you, if you just stop in your tracks and he bumps you and you go down, it's so hard for the official not to help you out. I'm not sure the kid meant to foul him. He sure didn't want to try to foul him. And, uh, you know, all of a sudden he did. Brandon Roberts, his first, first point for Appleby. Their leading score. Well, I think the free throws, I mean, they they would be way behind if they hadn't had some free throws. Six out of seven from the line, two of 11 from the field. One of two for Raheem. And still Sanford on top by three. Tyler Hood has returned. Straight on look. Banked in and out by Marcus Johnson. Now you got to call that, don't you, Dave? Didn't call it, almost hit it, though. Yeah, he did. He's foul on McCree. Down and around and out. Man, toilet, toilet, toilet bowled out of there. Um, the interesting thing I saw on the missed free throw last time, Dave, was La Tech, even on the missed free throw, set up their press. And you would think that would have a surprise element to it. Sanford was right ready for it, pushed it, passed it, shot it. Did a nice job of covering the uh, end OB play. Switch, switch, switch. They're very fortunate to get the ball in bounds. Johnson right at the point now with Cunningham on the bench. Johnson to Juco from Washington, D.C. Air ball by Roberts. Mm. Brandon a sophomore from Decatur, Alabama. That's one of the worst feelings as a player. You jump up in the air to shoot the ball, and all of a sudden there's two guys right there. Good lane to Davis. Another very makeable, good-looking shot won't go. And Louisiana Tech shooting percentage is 18. 2 of 11. And now, as you look out here at Sanford, this is what you're going to see. There's, I think, four, four, four or five guys that didn't start the game. So they'll play 11 guys. So they'll keep their energy level up. You saw the last two shots weren't the best shots. But... Roberts gets a good one driving around Davis. The extra energy they get on the glass defensively, pressing, pushing up and down the uh, fouls, all the things that come with more personnel, there are benefits to. They have to just kind of put up with a few mistakes on offense at times. Hamilton draws the blocking foul on Alex Peters. He'll have a three-point opportunity. Peters is just too deep. I think if, if you look at the